Hole number one, the burn. The opening par four sets the stage for great strategy, shot value, aesthetics, and enjoyment at Mistwood. On hole number one, you have multiple options off the tee because of the split fairway. Just take care to avoid the burn or creek, which runs at a 45 degree angle to your line of play. Pay attention to the pin position for the best angle into the pin. Trouble is long or left of the green, with menacing bunkers waiting to snatch up errant shots. A swale on the right side of the green can produce a challenging start to your round. Hole number two, Wee Pots. This visually stunning par four plays as a slight dogleg to the left. Six tees, three fairway bunkers, and a wide and generous fairway provide multiple driving options. The key to scoring on this hole is to avoid the two wee pots, better known as the deep stacked sod bunkers in the middle of the fairway, as well as the bunker on the right side of the hole. A deep bent grass hollow guards the approach to the front of the green. Multiple green undulations require a good read for par or better. Hole number three, Lannan Stone. This medium length par five is loaded with play options. Six tees, fescue left, water right, and a split fairway defined by deep and menacing bunkers really make you think. The left side of the fairway is your safe play, while long and right over the lake sets up the possibility of reaching the green in two shots. The second landing area narrows the closer you get to the green and is guarded by a stock sod bunker on the left and water to the right. A significant undulation splits the green into two smaller greens. The tournament pin location is front right, near the lake edge lined with beautiful land and stone. Depending on your play, eagle to double bogey is possible on this strategic par 5. Hole number 4, Highlands. This long par 4 places a slight dogleg left and is reminiscent of some of the classic holes in the Scottish Highlands. With its glorious rolling hills and tan fescue surrounds waving in the wind. Six tees allow you the best angle to a wide and generous fairway guarded by four bunkers. Your best play is long into the left side of the fairway over the two bunkers. This tee shot allows you an open bump and run avenue into a three-tiered green guarded by a deep stacked sod bunker front right. Don't be fooled by the bunker short left of the green as you have ample fairway and collar past the bunker to attack pin positions located on the left side of the hole. Hole number five, Long Lock. This medium length par four places a slight dogleg to the right and is a good birdie opportunity. The hole is guarded by fescue rough to the left in the hillside and the long lock or lake to the right. Your best drive option is just right of center flirting with the lake. Don't be low to sleep on your second shot as three stacked sod bunkers and two lakes left and right guard this three-tiered green. Wind direction must be factored in on both shots to avoid the watery graves. Hole number six, We Bend. This short medium length par four plays as a strong dogleg to the right. The preferred tee shot on this hole is to the elevated left side of the fairway, away from the lake followed by a middle to short iron over a creek. The green complex is guarded by three strategic bunkers, short left, left, and behind the green. The green features a strong back left to front right slope with a significant lower plateau left center. This part four is another good hole to pick up a stroke or two. Hole number seven, Dune. All 18 holes are uniquely different at Mistwood, especially the four par threes. The Scottish name Dune means down and best describes the scenic par three that plays downhill from the tees to the green with Loch St. James lurking in the background. Your best play is to the middle of the green as two plateaus on the right and left side of the green both slope down to the middle. Be careful not to over club as Loch St. James is very tight to the back of the green. Hole number eight, Royal Split. Dan Jenkins from Golf Digest ranked this incredible par five as one of the top par fives in the country. 
a bluegrass spine with two bunkers, separates the fairway to offer two distinct driving options. For the best view of the second landing area, drive long and right, flirting with the lake's edge for the best risk-reward option. Only a few long ball strikers can dream about making the green in two heroic shots. The safe drive is to the left side away from Lock St. James, but this leaves you a blind shot to the second landing area right of the white aiming pole. Since this landing zone narrows as you approach the green, either lay up to the 150 yard marker or be precise with your second shot. Think of this large green as two small greens with the front half receptive to incoming shots and the back half playing downhill to the collar and back. Overall, eight is a dynamic par five that epitomizes the term risk reward. Hole number nine, blind pot. Four tees allow the hole to be played from different lengths and angles. Trouble lurks front right with the daunting Latin stone wall guarding the wetlands and a front right pin placement. Bunkers left and water long demand a precise tee shot. Avoid the deep blind pot, the stacked sod bunker for which the hole is named. The green features two large and two small and subtle plateaus. Hole number 10, Berry Bend. This short par four is another exciting cape hole with a strong dog leg to the right. There are five strategic play options with your tee shot. Driving the green has the most risk, but also the ultimate reward. The inside of the dog leg is lined with mature trees, while the outside of the hole on the left side features two deep stacked sod bunkers. The safe play is a hybrid off the tee, short of the two fairway bunkers, and then a short iron into a deceptively challenging green complex that slopes left to right to a lower plateau in the center of the green. An exciting and strategic par four best describes the opening hole for the back nine. Hole number 11, Bayon. Hole number 11 is a long par four named Bayon, which is Scottish Gaelic for mountain. This is fitting for the large rolling fescue covered landforms left of the teeing complex. Four bunkers help define the landing zone with the best drive option slightly right of center. Pay special attention on your long second shot as the approach and the green are both narrow. Successful second shots will be needed to end up on the proper plateau for a chance to make a birdie. Number 12, Deep Pot. This medium length par four is complete with strategy, challenge, intrigue, and beauty. A lake guards the left side, while two impressive stacked sod bunkers define the right side of the hole. Pay special attention to the pin location from the tee, as this dictates which side of the fairway to target your drive. The key to scoring on this hole is to avoid the deepest stacked sod bunker on the course for which the hole is named. Take a second read on your putt for this deceptive but birdieable green. Hole number 13, Wee Neck. This medium length par four is guarded by four fairway bunkers on the left side of the hole and trees on the right. The fairway landing zone narrows with the length of your tee shot. A fairway wood or hybrid is all you need to avoid the bunkers where the fairway narrows. The green complex is nestled at the bottom of a hill with a small bay of Lock St. James to the right. Favor the left side of the green for your second shot and avoid the bay. Be cautious when attacking a back right pin placement as the green slopes from the left center to back right toward the bay. Enjoy the view of the old bridge as you approach the green. Hole number 14, Kelby's Lookout. This incredible par three is one of Mistwood's signature holes because it provides beauty, strategy, challenge, and drama. There are eight tees in two specific locations. One set is behind the lake and the other is along the right side, giving it the feel of two completely different holes. The key to scoring is to avoid Lock St. James and the four bunkers to the right. This par three begins a stretch of four holes named after the Scottish water devil Kelpie that lurks down below the water's edge. Hole number 15, Kelpie's Bend. Hole number 15 is one of the most challenging and memorable holes on the course. 
with multiple teeing options ranging from 569 to 434 yards, this dogleg par 5 offers excitement for all ranges of players. Four fairway bunkers help define the first landing zone. Bite off as much of the cape as you dare in order to have a chance to reach the green in two shots. The safe play is long and right, away from Lock St. James. Part or better largely depends on your second shot into a narrow stretch of fairway guarded by water on the left and fescue on the right. Six bunkers and water add beauty and challenge or concentration to your third shot. You will definitely remember this fine par five. Hole number 16, Kelpie's Bay. Kelpie's Bay is the third hole in Kelpie's Corner. Five tees offer a variety of driving options. A safe play is a fairway water hybrid to the center of the wide and generous fairway. The second shot is short but dramatic with trouble lurking in front to the left and behind the long narrow green. The green has a slight wave in it, creating more break than you may perceive. The hole is named after the picturesque bay lined with lanin stone. Hole number 17, this short to medium length par 3, is nestled between Loch St. James on the left and a stand of tall deciduous trees on the right. Accuracy is a must because of the spine-like formation that produces three distinct areas on the green. The safe and smart play is long to the back of the green and extended collar. Take a moment to enjoy the majestic view of Loch St. James before heading over to the tees on number 18. Hole number 18, home. Hole number 18 is simply named home, as are many of the great finishing holes in the British Isles. The tee is set back in a wooded area, forcing a straight drive out of a narrow chute. The fairway is lined with numerous bunkers to the left and dense woods to the right. A long drive will allow players to reach the green in two shots. If you choose to lay up, be sure to leave room short of the creek that crosses in front of the green. Three glorious stacks on bunkers also protect the green in the front and back. Smart, aggressive play can lead to a par or better on this unique finishing hole.